This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Protect yourself online today by visiting nordvpn.com forward slash name explain or clicking the link down below and receive a huge discount on a two year plan plus four additional months free. With a population of over 38 million and a land area covering 312,000 kilometers square, Poland really is one of the largest nations in all of Europe. Suffice to say, having a country that large means you kind of need to split it into easy to administrate areas, like how pretty much all nations are. Poland's subdivisions are often referred to as provinces, and while that term can indeed be used for them, there is something of a more correct term that we can and will be using throughout this video. That being the distinctly Slavic term of Vovoidships. This term comes from the term of Vovoid and ship. Ship is simply a noun forming element used to reflect land owned by someone of a particular title, with Vovoid being that particular title. Vovoid means something along the lines of army leader, and it comes from old church Slavonic words meaning warrior and leader. While each of Poland's Vovoid ships do in fact still have a Vovoid, I don't think they have much to do with the military these days and they are more bureaucratic jobs. But it's the names of the Vovoi ships that we are more interested in today as opposed to the Vovois themselves. Poland is split into 16 of these Vovoi ships and upon looking at a list of them you may notice that the English translations of these names are somewhat different to their native Polish names. I will however be using the English versions of these names for this video however simply because I know I'm going to struggle with saying them let alone trying to pronounce the native Polish names. Have no worries however as while the English and Polish names might be spelled and pronounced differently, they still more or less have the same meanings. Like Pomerania's Polish name of Pomorski still just means Pomerania, but in Polish. Cool? Cool. Speaking of Pomerania, that will be the first Vovoi ship that we'll be covering today. This name derives from an old historic region that was part of this world as now split between Poland and Germany. It was once upon a time part of the Prussian Empire. The name ultimately comes from the Latin name for the tribe the Romans found here, who they dubbed the Pomerani, which comes from the older Slavic name of Pomors, which means by the sea. This makes a ton of sense as Pomerania's northern border is in fact the Baltic Sea, and of course a certain breed of dog from this area of the world is named after that fact too. The Vovoi ship to the west of Pomerania is called West Pomerania. I'm sure you can figure out why it has this name. As mentioned, Pomerania was a larger province in Europe once upon a time, and this name just reflects the fact that this is the western part of Pomerania. I promise not all of Poland's Vojvoj ships have such dull names. This isn't Portugal we are talking about. And to prove that fact, we'll be looking to Pomerania's east instead. This Vojvoj ship isn't called East Pomerania, thankfully, but instead it is called Varmia Mazulia. This name, like Pomerania, comes from two historic regions too, Vormia and Mazulia, which it is formed from. The name of Vormia supposedly derives from a legendary chief during the time of Prussian history who was called Vormo. The name of Mazulia seems to come from the name of the wider Polish region it is in, of Mazovia, with this name seemingly of unknown older Slavic origins. Journeying to the western border of the nation once again however, we arrive in the Vojvoj ship of Lubos. This name seems to arrive from a town in Germany of all things. As mentioned, this Vojvoj ship is in the nation's west, and the German town of Libos is right on the eastern border of Germany. As these two nations have such a shared history, it makes sense why some of the names would derive from the other nation. When this German town's name was translated from German into Polish, it went from Libas to Lubos, and then went on to name the wider area around it, which turned into a part of modern Poland. The next Vovoid ship we'll be covering is simply called Greater Poland. That might sound a tad odd at first, especially because it isn't even the greatest in size of all the Vovoid ships, but the name relates more to the area's historical significance as opposed to its mass. It was this part of the nation that the initial Poland settled in and became the core of the early Polish nation. A little later in this video, we'll also be covering a lesser Poland too, so slight spoiler alert I suppose. Two Greater Poland's northeast, we arrive at the Vovoj ship of Curavian Pomeranian. Once again, we see the name Pomerania that relates to the historic land here. But what about that name of Curavian? Well, while we know it relates to another older region in this land, we don't seem to know where it comes from, other than the fact that it's a super old name, with the earliest recorded use of it we have coming from 1136 AD. The next Vovoj ship might have a familiar sounding name, as it's dubbed Mazovia. We've talked about this name already 
as it played a role in the naming of the Vormir Mazuria Vovoid ship. As mentioned then, this name comes from old unknown Slavic roots. Then we have the Podlaski Vovoid ship, which as far as I could tell, like Greater Poland, is just named after Poland itself too, or more correctly another historical region called Poland. If you couldn't tell from these names, Poland is a land with a lot of history behind it. Historically, the Vovoids of Poland would have protected their lands from threats it may have faced. While that might not be the case anymore, something that does still need protecting from threats is your online life. As the world becomes more and more digital, with more of our lives and personal information being kept online, it means there's a bigger risk than ever of having your data and personal information stolen. This is why I want to say a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. NordVPN allows you to connect to our Nord's many secure servers, which are located all across the globe. It's super quick and easy to do, and once you are connected, your data will be hidden from anyone with any malicious intent. Nord protects you from so many different kinds of cybersecurity threats too. I must admit, I thought I was pretty well educated on cybersecurity, but I didn't know just how many kinds of threats there were out there until I started working with and using Nord for myself. From password attacks where hackers find your passwords from a compromised site and spread it around the deep web, to malware which can find its way into your computer from email links and dodgy downloads and can just tear about your device. Nord cares about making sure you are educated and protected from all these kinds of threats and having NordVPN on your device will make you more secure digitally. And to make things even better, NordVPN is currently running an amazing offer for viewers of Name Explain. For a limited time, you can get a huge discount on a two year plan and an additional four months for free by visiting nordvpn.com forward slash Name Explain or by clicking the link down below. Stay safe every time you access the internet, no matter where you are or how much you know about cybersecurity with NordVPN. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Name Explain or click the link down below to get a huge discount on a two-year plan and an additional four months for free. Thank you once again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Moving along, we arrive at the Vovoi ship of Lower Silesia. And if you couldn't guess by that name, we will indeed find a non-Lower Silesia later down the line in this video. The name of Silesia is once again one of those names shared between Germany and Poland due to their shared history. The title once belonged to a province in East Germany before the maps got redrawn. The name for this area comes from a river and mountain found in the region too. But these geographic features are ultimately thought to be named after a people initially found here, dubbed the Selingi, with their name being of unknown origins. And the reason this one is lower is most likely due to the fact that the topography is low to the ground and the land is more flat in general. In central Poland, we have the Vovoi ship of Łódź. This entire Vovoi ship is named after the largest city found within it, Łódź. There's a fun story behind the origin of this city's name. The name translates into meaning boat, which is kind of strange considering how inland this city is. The story goes that a man was traveling across the lake in the area by boat, and when he arrived on the shore, he wanted to rest for the night. However, it started raining, so to combat this, he flipped his boat upside down and rested underneath it to stay out of the rain. He then proceeded to form a town in the area and named it Boat in honor of his first night's shelter. How true this story is, we have no idea, but it's a fun one. The Shwitoshwishka Vovoi ship has a name coming from religious origins, it would seem, as it literally translates into meaning the Holy Cross of Vovoi ship. Poland is seen as one of the most religious countries in Europe, with around 90% of the nation being Catholic. The Lublin Vovoi ship is once again named after its capital city, which is too called Lublin. This town owes its name to the legendary hero of Luba. He supposedly saved this town many years years ago by slaying a huge, fierce bear that was terrifying the citizens. As a thank you for dealing with their bear-based problem, the citizens of the town renamed it after Luba, dubbing it Lublin. The Vovoi ship of Apole is once again named after its largest city of Apole. Apole is a bit of an odd word it would seem. It started life as a generic term for an administrative unit, like the entire country could have been split into Opoles. But in time it came to be the name of just one city in the nation, and then the entire Vovoi ship got named after that city. Where the word comes from however we aren't too sure. We then arrive at the Vovoi ship of Silesia, which we have pretty much already covered 
liquid with lower Silesia. This Silesia isn't lower like its counterpart, so it must have more extreme terrain, with mountains and the like. Then, right next to Silesia, we have Lesser Poland, in contrast to the aforementioned Greater Poland. While Lesser Poland might make this place sound not as impressive as, say, Greater Poland, it still does have a rich history, being a part of the world the initial settlers spread out from, from Greater Poland. It just isn't as old as Greater Poland. Then we arrive at the final Vovoyship of Subcarpathia. Within this name, you will see the name of the Carpathian mountain range, named after the Carpi people. This Vovoyship lies just below this mountain range, hence why it's called Subcarpathia, as it's below them, with sub meaning below slash under. And with that, we have covered all 16 Vovoy ships of Poland, and these names really seem to capture the nation's cities, landscapes, and perhaps most noticeably, its history. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, and the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos. $2 a month gets you all that, plus your name here with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.